Hey everybody, this is Kevin here from Happy Beard Games, and today it is breakfast time at Happy Beard Games' house. So we are trying to decide which of these cereals I want to eat for breakfast, because breakfast is an important part of the day, it boosts your brain, and it's very positive. So we've got Ewok crisps. It's not even a real cereal. Why do I have this? We've got Super Mario Brothers cereal with an amiibo on the box. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go with that. Then we've got a classic Crunch Berries, Captain Crunch. Love it. Love this cereal here. Then we've got two Star Wars cereals. Wait a minute. The Force Awakens? You know how old that is? Like, five years, maybe? Okay, I guess we're going with Cabin Crunch. Wait a minute, what's this? It's a package from Video Games Monthly. Boom! Video Games Monthly, July 2020. I'm ready to unbox this bad boy. And inside, I like to open it this way and reach in blindly so I don't see them all at once. Kind of adds to the experience. And there's going to be some paperwork at the top. I think. I think there is. Got a lot of stuff in here today. Oh, yeah, there is more paper. I wasn't just making that up. Uh, we've got an old school gamer magazine from oldschoolgamer.com. Uh, there's also a way to subscribe on the back, so there's a little card advertising that. Oh, sweet! Super Mario Brothers stickers! Yeah, we've got Mario and Luigi here in their 3D forms, as well as an awesome... I love this two-dimensional artwork of Super Mario. Really cool bonus items in this month's Video Games Monthly. And then we've got a 1-Up, so we're getting an extra game this month. I believe I ordered four games, so we're getting five games this month. Pretty much every box I've gotten a 1-Up on, so I'm pretty lucky with that, and I'm pretty thankful for Video Games Monthly sending me an extra game each month, because some people don't get that, and some people get more or less. Some people get them some months, some people don't get them other months. But enough with that, let's jump in and see what games we actually got. This first one, I can tell, feels like an NES, Nintendo NES game. Oh, oh, whoa. Four-player game. I'm looking at, like, what is that? Four-player? Simultaneous action. We've got a Trade West game. It's Juan... I hope I said that right. Juan Iron Man Stewart. Super off-road. we got some kind of, uh, big rig racing game. we got some, like, either monster trucks or just off-road racing truck, truck racing. Uh, oh, it says it up there. Ivan Iron Man Stewart, not Juan. Juan? <laughs> I thought it was a W. <laughs> it's in cursive. Come on. Um, but yeah, it has four player simultaneous action. I've got the four score, so I can play that on my NES. Uh, it doesn't work on the Retron, but it does work on. I have like a NES HD that it definitely works on, the four score, as well as I have, of course, the original NES. So it'll be cool to check that out someday. Now I just gotta find three other people to play it with. Oh. Put that bad boy up there. So Ivan Iron Man Stewart, super off-road. Always love a good racing game. Actually, one of my favorite games on the NES is Rad Racers and the Rad Racer series. So I do love those NES games. What is this? Oh, okay. I'm like, I didn't order Genesis or N64 and it feels really smooth. It must be Famicom. A very simple game. Golf! Yes, golf. And it's got that nice green, or it's more like a turquoise uh, cart. So it kind of blends in with the blue sky and the green field of golf. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just like the Black Box series golf for the Nintendo NES. This is the Japanese Famicom version. It's a little uh, dust, dirty, dusty on it, but it looks like it's uh, been cleaned off to an extent. Um, but that's not a problem. I can clean it easily uh, if it doesn't work for some reason. But it's uh, Golf. It's Golf. Japanese Famicom Golf uh, for the Nintendo NES. Made by Nintendo. 1984 it was just released in Japan. It came out a little bit earlier than the NES did. Um, and I've got a lot of Famicom games, so I don't have that one on the Famicom. I think I have that one on the NES, though. I'm pretty sure I have Golf already. 
Uh, I've also got some other ones like NES Open Tournament Golf. So I've got some NES golf games, but that's actually a pretty solid golf game. It's kind of the basic, you know, you're, you, you, you target the meter and then you hit it in the middle of it or some certain point in the middle of the meter and then it determines, determines, uh, how far you're swinging and how far you're gonna hit the, how hard you're gonna hit the ball when you're playing golf. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a pretty basic, like, computer style golf. Oh. My goodness. Do we have a boxed game here today, guys? Awesome! Oh, sweet! It's an NES game, complete in box. I, I think it's complete in box. It feels pretty hefty. Um, it's an Ultra game, which is Konami's, uh, like a subsidiary of Konami, I think. Uh, or com another company that Konami did was Ultra Games. Uh, like Ninja Turtles says Ultra Games. I don't know what this game is particularly. It's called Silent Service. And, well, we got the whole box here, so that's really cool. Thanks, Video Games Monthly. I love to have a boxed NES game. I've gotten one or two or maybe three. No, I've gotten one NES box game from them before and one Super Nintendo box game. Uh, but, yeah, this is really cool. Um, Silent Service, it kind of looks like a naval combat game. You've got a submarine, you've got a battleship, you've got a scope. On the back of the box, I can actually read you the description this time. The world is deep at war and you're submerged among the enemy. Prepare to dive into Silent Service, the ultra-realistic submarine simulation that recreates authentic World War II sea patrols in the bloody waters of the South Pacific. It kind of goes on for a long time, so I won't read the whole thing, uh, but I'll show it to you, of course. Uh, the motto? Find them, chase them, sink them. That's the, that's the motto of the game. For one player only, 1989 Ultra Games... Uh, which I think is somehow related to Konami. Uh, it looks like it's got some really detailed stuff in it. Like, you know those space simulators that, kind of like Star Trek, that like have uh, really detailed like uh, settings for your ship and stuff? This is kind of like that, but like with a submarine, so it's more realistic. You've got like really precise targeting data, it looks like, from these screenshots and all this other cool stuff. But enough about that, let's see what's in the box. Oh, yeah, the manual's in there. Wow, this is this is really cool, VGM. Um, wow. So we've got the cart, of course, looking great, as always. VGM quality. We've got some other stuff. I think it actually has the sleeve cover, the dust cover. Um, yeah, it does. Okay, it just kind of slipped out because it got stuck in there. There's no styrofoam. There's just this NES styrofoam. I don't know. Got the manual here, silent service. I'll have to read up on that. It looks like a pretty... A pretty uh, Technical, advanced, realistic game. You've got the dust, dust cart sleeve here, as it goes like that. Uh, or maybe like that. I like it that way, so you can see the game's uh, artwork out a little bit. I have a few of these covers, and they're really nice to have. I'm going to keep this out of the box for now, because uh, I have a special place where I keep my manuals, and I, have, I put my boxes in a certain place, and then I keep my games on a different shelf, so... That is really cool, to have a complete unboxed game on the NES. Even though it's one I've never heard of, it's always cool to get something like that in video, game, video games monthly. And now we've got one, two, three. We've got two more games in this box. Let's see what they might be, because that's pretty good so far. Another NES game? Okay, this one's got to be great. Solar Jetman, the hunt for the golden warp ship. Wow, I was just talking about some sci-fi, like, Star Trek-style games. This might be something like that. It's by Trade West. Trade West. Is this by Trade West? We've got a couple Trade West games here today. And we've got a lot of NES stuff here today because that's Famicom. Um, Solar Jetman Hunt for the Golden Warp Ship. Shows like an alien planet with like tentacle eyeball plants and like this robot ship shooting lasers and phasers at these aliens. It looks pretty awesome. Conquer 12 Alien Worlds. All 12 of them. All 12 of the Alien Worlds. That's all there is in our, our universe. That's all the aliens are. We have there be, might be millions of life forms in the galaxy. Some people might believe there's no other life forms in the galaxy. I personally believe that there's like lots of life forms in the galaxy. Not just intelligent, but animals and stuff like that. Uh, but, according to Solar Jetman, there's only 12. I've got one more game in this box today. I believe it's the last thing. Hey, it's a Game Boy game. Revenge of the Gator. What? 
Revenge of the Gator? Whoa! Why would the Gator want revenge? Is this a sequel to some other game series? Revenge of the Gator by HAL Laboratories, that's cool. Or HAL America, at least. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I never heard of this one. But it looks like a pinball game from the cover, so it's probably a pinball game. I've actually been getting into the Game Boy a little more recently because I've got the Retron 5. I can play Game Boy games. I'm playing some Link's Awakening. Uh, I played some Yu-Gi-Oh! on the Game Boy. And I've been really wanting to check out some more Game Boy games. i got a lot. They're all over there. In a pile. Don't really have anywhere to put them. Uh, but we've got Revenge of the Gator for the Game Boy. And this actually looks pretty cool because I do like pinball games. So let's uh, put this bad boy right there. Alright, Video Games Monthly, July 2020. We got a lot of cool stuff this month. Maybe, just maybe, the luck of the Power Glove might have actually helped us out a bit this month because uh, we've got some really awesome stuff this month. Can't wait to see what comes in next month. We got four awesome games plus a one-up game. So we got a total of five. It's got some awesome bonuses. And it's a great month overall. So I hope to see you in the next month's video. Please be sure to leave this video a like, a comment, subscribe today for more classic gaming goodness, and share it with your friends. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And I want to point out that I've been doing some really cool videos this month. I did a video the other day about Nintendo advertisements throughout the years. And it kind of looks at how the advertising styles of Nintendo games have changed from the early 90s and, eight, and late 80s to the Wii generation and the Nintendo DS generation, where it started out with this radical, cool, awesome Nintendo stuff for the cool kids, and then it transitioned into casual gamers, now everyone can play video games. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, check out my recent video on Nintendo advertisements. We've got more videos coming up this month, including gameplay videos, Famicom Fridays, Wii Wednesdays, and more. Alright everybody, thanks for watching once again, bye!